Hey guys, it's Jake with the NSB Woodsman channel, back with another video today, and this is the second video in my series, Budget Lightweight Backpacking. Uh, today we are going to be discussing sleep system. Stay tuned. get started I wanted to show you guys what I got in the mail today I'm pretty excited about both of these items I haven't even opened them yet the first and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen some YouTube videos out there about this uh, but I'm very excited to try it out it is the outdoorsman lab sleeping pad uh, I'm not going to be doing a review of this at the present moment because I haven't slept on it yet this literally just came today um, but there's a whole bunch of different videos out there. Go ahead and check it out. It says it's 14 ounces. It feels pretty light to me. And it's very small, which I really like a lot. This is, I mean, this is going to fit perfectly. So uh, I'm excited about that. The other thing I'm really excited about, and I have not seen many YouTube videos out there. Maybe it's because it's impractical, but for me, I'm just so excited about it. The Baffin Kush Slipper. See this? I got these to try them out. I'm very excited to try them. They say they weigh two ounces. Um, obviously, I'm going to weigh these and I'll put all the detail on the screen here in a few minutes, but uh, feels pretty cool. I got big feet, so these are pretty large. They compress, but not that well. I'll, I'll do a full review of these at some future point in time as well, but these would be something that. Uh, if it did dip down, you know, into the 30s, I might consider packing these on as my camp shoe. You know, they, they do take up space, though, but anyways, that's just a fun little addition thing. All right, so moving on. We are here today to talk about sleep system. And uh, part of my summertime sleep system is going to be the Outdoorsman Lab sleeping pad. Uh, this is a, I think the R value for this is only 1.3, um, so it's not going to be a cold weather pad, and I knew that buying it, I wanted it for summer, I have an insulated pad that is about 4.4 from Climate, which I did a review on, you should check that out, and uh, it's a little bit heavier, it's, this is 14 ounces, the other one is 25 ounces, so there's a difference there both in price, R value, you know, you got to consider what type of condition you're going to be camping in. I got this for $47 on Amazon. Pretty good deal. Uh, I've found other people that have gotten it cheaper, um, but I wanted it for this video. I wanted to make it quick, so uh, I got it on Amazon full price. And uh, not bad. Very excited. The next piece, the sleeping bag. A lot of different options for sleeping bag. For, for this video series, once again, I want to emphasize what I'm trying to do is balance budget and lightweight backpacking capabilities, functionality. So this isn't just a budget back it, uh, backpacking video, and it's not just a lightweight backpacking video. It is a balancing of the two, and that's very important. Um, so I'm going to lead you into the next two items that I have. I bought two of these at the time because I saw a bunch of different reviews and I couldn't decide which one I would like better and I figured that if it wasn't me using it my wife would use it when we go camping so I got both of them. The first is and there's a whole bunch of reviews online for these so I'm not going to do a review I'm just going to indicate what they are. The first is the Aegis Max mummy style slash quilt down sleeping bag. It's the bright green one. You'll see it out there. If you watch YouTube at all, you'll see this out there quite a bit. This is a great option. I'm going to, uh, I can't recall exactly how much I paid. I believe this one was 70 on Amazon. And I'm going to list, I'll list all of this detail, both in the detail section, the description section of the video, and I'll also probably put something up on the screen, either over here, over here, down here, or up here. So uh, if you're watching this, just take notes. 
So there's your first option. This weighs about a pound, uh, if I recall correctly, somewhere around there. Once again, the details will be posted. Um, I haven't slept in this one yet. I haven't, haven't had a chance to, and I'll tell you why. Because that one is my second option. This one is my first option. This is also Aegis Max. It's, for whatever reason, apparently it's slightly heavier. It's a different style. This is their quilt style. All right. It costs about $10 to $15 more. Compacts down to about the same size. This one's black. All right. It's a different style. I'll try and lay both of these out here on this bed side by side so you can kind of take a look at them. But uh, I love this bag. <laughs> I've slept in it now. Uh, several times I've slept in at room temperature and it's extremely warm and then I've slept in it down to about 35 and uh, 35 with a insulated sleeping pad and I did have basically the clothes that I would wear normally when I go backpacking and I was just comfortable I didn't have I didn't have enough I didn't have enough headgear or additional additional insulation to really push this bag beyond its limit. Both of these bags are supposed to be rated to about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so I'd say at 40 degrees is about the borderline if you're going with just you know regular clothes. Um, if you really want to get insulated, you could push that. And like I said, I got it down to about 35, 36, and that was uh, that was pushing it. Sorry if you can hear my baby crying. Anyways, let me lay these out for you so you guys can take a look. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so here are the two sleeping bags slash quilts by Aegis Max. Alright, I'm not doing a review right now, but I'll just tell you some of the features and some of the differences. As you can see, the green Aegis Max here has horizontal baffling versus the black one which has the vertical baffling. Now, if I were a hammock camper, uh, I, I used to be, I love doing that, I would probably stick with the horizontal. That way you don't get, when your feet are elevated or anything, you don't get down shifting around that way. People have preferences for both. I'm not going to tell you how to do your thing. I'm just telling you what, what I like about it. Same thing with the uh, vertical baffling over here. For me, I tend to get a little bit colder around the feet, so I just kind of push a little bit extra down here at the foot end and uh, a little bit more up at the head end and have the middle area where all my like clothes are kind of with less down in it so it's kind of cool to be able to shift down where you want it that way so the foot box of the green one is more mummy style you can kind of see it's got like this squarish roundish foot box here whereas the black one is more of just your standard shape it does taper down narrower at the bottom but only a little bit that's another reason why I kind of tend to prefer this one. And you can unzip it all the way across, and uh, it becomes kind of like a big blanket. So you really can customize. That's the other reason I really like this one, is you can really make it what you want it to be for the purpose. Of summertime, you need more air, just unzip the whole thing. It's a down blanket, right? Cooler weather, you want to be warm, you zip it up, you're a little bit snug. It's great. And the zipper comes all the way, you know, obviously it goes all the way. So you can have it down, you can have it quilt style, where you have it, that's basically how I have it, quarter of the way zipped up, and then sleep in it that way. Both the bags, I'm sorry guys, both the bags come with these uh, storage sacks, silk storage sacks, and then stuff sacks, respectively. There you go. Alright, so that's both of them. Oh, they both also have... Uh, hook hangers so you can hang them up and let them dry out All right. I almost forgot to talk about one of the most important pieces of my sleep system that I will be taking with me and uh, ultra lightweight guys probably wouldn't take such an item or they might modify it a little bit and at some point in time I might modify this too but for what it weighs I love it It's a car shade. You guys might have seen this in some of my other videos. Uh, I love this item. I don't know. 
it can be used for a lot of different things. I've used this as a seat. Uh, I've used it to uh, have my daughter play on when we're out in, you know, some place and I just carry this along with me. I lay it down. It's a super lightweight, you know, surface for her to play on. Uh, you can, this can be like a little cooking, eating area. You can lay it down for that. And uh, what I've used this a lot for actually is a part of my sleep system. Uh, I use this to, I actually got this tip and I'm going to do a shout out because he's just made his YouTube return. John from Intense Angler. Love your videos, by the way. And uh, he actually gave me this tip, not personally, through his YouTube channel. <laughs> and I've never gone back. I bought one literally as soon as I got that video, saw that video. It's $3. This one, you can get them at the dollar store for a buck. I got this one because it's just slightly higher quality, different material. It's got just like a little bit of cushion to it. In the summertime, a lot of the time, this is my sleep pad. I just lay down right on this. It's lightweight. It doesn't, obviously, it's not as small as that uh, Outdoorsman Lab, but I'll just lay right down on this with a light blanket and this'll, this'll do it. The reason being, a lot of the heat of your body actually does, and some people say it doesn't work, this one works. I can feel it when I lay down on it that the heat of my body reflects back up. So uh, there are times in the summer where I'll be laying, you know, on my back or on my stomach and the warm part of me is what's laying on this and the cold part of me is where the blanket is. So I can't, I can't speak highly enough for $3 and for what ends up being, I think, four ounces for the full car shade. You could cut this in half, take it down to two ounces and it would be just a nice added bonus to both your sleep system, a nice little sit pad. Uh, it can be, like I said, it can be so many things that to me it's just worth it to carry this little extra thing. And for me, I always strap it right on the back of my pack because I always have some paracord, so I just, or uh, there's generally a shot cord on the outside of my packs, so I just slide it right in, just like that. And it just works perfectly. All right. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you once again for watching my videos. Uh, please stay tuned for the other parts of this series. I'm really looking forward to this series. I'm having, a, I'm, I'm having a blast filming this series and talking about it. I love talking about this stuff, and I'm really glad that I get to share that with you guys. So uh, please keep tuning in. Thank you for all of your support, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. As always, take care.